I hope y'all having a great day, great night if it's nighttime. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. Um, today it's your boy YT Bounty back to back again. You know what I'm saying? Today what we gonna be doing is we re, re bro what the world we reacting to the three three school lockdown horror stories animated. So um yeah that's what we doing, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's all that's all I'm gonna say. Uh uh shout out to my boy Dr. No Sleep, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave you to like my boy. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie, we not gonna react to all three. We just gonna react to one. Cause y'all know how I do with scary stuff. So I ain't I ain't about to sit here and watch all three. That's crazy, bro. It's crazy that I'm watching one. So I really hope y'all enjoy this video. Cause I I know I'm not going to. Alright, come on. Come on, man. The PA system crackled to life on a Thursday during second period in my junior year of high school. All right, bro, hold on. This show not even about to be scary, bro. The animation look goofy, bro. I don't think I can get scared with the anime. I mean, it, no, the animation look good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying, like, just as far for scary purposes, bro. The familiar I ain't getting scared, bro. The recorded voice filled my classroom. Too Lockdown. easy. Locks, lights, out of sight. Lockdown, locks, lights, out of sight. The words kept repeating as Mrs. Danbury paused at the board and looked up at the speaker in the corner. Bro, what was she room. trying to write, bro? Okay, you all know what to do, she said, rushing toward the classroom door to shut. Miss Danbury got that drip on. Nervous chatter went up among the students as we rose from our desks. That man looked like a zombie. Moved into position against the wall. Is this real? My friend Colin oh, asked my as we sat on the floor with our backs to the wall. Must be, I said. They'd tell us if it was just a drill. The sound of helicopter rotors was faintly audible over the recorded voice of the lockdown alert, and the noise grew louder as we sat there in the dark classroom. After a few moments, it sounded like the helicopter was right over the school. Bro, they, they always do this. They always do this, bro. Shout out to Adobe, though, bro. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, y'all sponsor me. Your boy trying to get to the back. Shout out to Adobe, you know what I'm saying? Y'all sponsor me. <laughs> Come on, Four bro. minutes passed before the <laughs> you know helicopter moved again. The noise making it sound like it was going in circles above the campus. A loud bang, like a door flying open, sounded outside. Someone yelled in the hall, a sound that was quickly replaced by automatic gunfire. I slammed Dang. my hands over my ears, along with many other students. Some of the girls, and even a few of the boys, covered their mouths as they cried out softly. More gunfire erupted out in the hallway. It sounded as if there were four or five guns firing. Dang. An inhuman screeching sound pierced the air. Hi, right, bro. Look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This don't not about to be scary, bro. I I would react to the second one too, but it's gonna take it's gonna take forever. Like it, the video gonna be too long if I react to the second one too. So I mean, bro, I'm gonna just wide. keep it going, bro. But I don't think I'm gonna get scared to this, bro. I looked over at Mrs. Danbury, whose face was drained of all color. She was the nearest to the door, the nearest. To whatever the hell was going on in the hallway, Miss Danbury Ray up that fire, and I heard I'm a man joking, shout bro. Chill, and then scream. His wail of pain stopped abruptly with a loud crashing bang. I didn't have to see it to know that he'd been thrown into the lockers lining the hallway. The metallic bang was enough to tell me that. More gunfire sounded outside, and then more screaming. Then there was silence. For several seconds, we all listened hard for anything outside. They pulled up. The recorded up. voice was still going, and the helicopter was still faintly audible. The sound of running footsteps suddenly came to us from the hall. The footsteps stopped abruptly, and a terrible scream erupted just before the door to our classroom smashed in. A SWAT officer flew backward into the room and slammed into Mrs. Danbury's desk which slid several feet from the end. They smacking the SWAT officer? Cries of fear came from the students around me as they saw the soldier was missing an arm. He'd hit the desk with his mid back and had come to rest at an angle that told us his spine was broken. All right, but look, 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 look. This is like, this is like, this has nothing to do with the video. I don't even know why I'm pointing this out, but don't this kind of look like Pac-Man, bro? Like, just the, look, <laughs> look, look at the thing, bro. It's like, it's like, it's like, it got the little curve how Pac-Man would have. It, it's like a black Pac-Man in the background is red. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once the soldier came to rest, there was only silence from the hall. It went on for long enough that I was starting to think the danger had passed. Mrs. Danbury apparently thought the same thing 
Bro, this they is not scary. Toward the doorway where the smash door was hanging open. This ain't even scary, bro. This is out of pocket, bro. Like, why y'all? Why y'all in the school with the? Man, what y'all? Man, up in there. I don't know Take what my she head, was trying bro. to do, but as soon as I saw her move toward the doorway, I wanted to tell her to stop. Still, I made no sound for fear of attracting whatever was outside. Yeah, you if can't even say nothing at all. She peeked her head around the door jam to peer into the hall. Her left hand came up to her mouth, as if trying to keep herself from getting sick. She stood up and turned around to face us. Bro, what is she doing, bro? She gotta be, she gotta be in with it, bro. Well, actually, I don't know, bro. Okay, we need to move to another classroom, she said. The hall looks... A long, blistered, red and black arm with a claw-like hand darted down from the ceiling outside the doorway and grabbed Mrs. Danbury by the neck, stopping her words. It yanked her out of the classroom before any of us knew what was happening. We heard a scream and a thunk from outside. Then Mrs. Danbury appeared in the doorway again, only she didn't have any arms. Blood spewed from her massive wounds as she stepped into the room, looking back over her shoulder with a dazed look on her face. What she saw there snapped her out of it, and she started running toward the wall of windows opposite the doorway. Fountains of blood poured out of her as she ran past her desk, screaming. A monstrous, scarred figure that looked like a badly burned mix between a bear and a baboon darted through the doorway after our teacher. It leapt, smashing into Mrs. Danbury just as she reached the window. The two of them tumbled out, falling to the ground just a few feet below. My teacher hey, screamed. rest in peace, Miss Danbury. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I don't think it was a good idea to get up and start talking no, over. I ain't even gonna lie, brother. Probably wasn't the best idea, Miss Danbury. I don't know, bro. You you kind of missed with that one, but you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Miss Danbury. Bro, this ain't even scary. I ain't even. <laughs> this ain't scary at all, bro. This dead ain't scary, bro. Bro, I don't even know what to say, bro. I did thought this joke was ready, like, had me feeling some type of way to go through all three of these but we just gonna go through the first one no we're gonna go through the first one yeah we just gonna go through the first one once more outside before her vocalization stopped with a terrible ripping sound all of us students stayed frozen against the wall staring at the broken window waiting for the thing to come back in we should have run but we didn't it was wouldn't have ran too either. much for us eventually the Actually, gruesome sounds from outside stopped, oh no. but none of us were willing to risk standing up and moving toward the window to see what was happening. Not long after those noises stopped, we heard a flurry of gunshots from far off, likely off the high school campus. Hearing those faraway shots snapped me out of shock. I stood up and moved slowly to the doorway. Oh yeah, he hit. I looked out to see the hallway littered with dismembered bodies. There was blood all over the place. A man with a smashed head lay below a huge and bloody dent in several of the lockers across the hall. Dang. A few other guys and I led the rest of the class out. We headed toward the evacuation spot and were about halfway there when we ran into more police coming into the school. They took us to safety. We were told it Here was we an go. escaped animal from the zoo. Add again, bruh. His fever spiked. Shake my head, bruh. Man, flip, no. I, I couldn't catch my breath. I was oh, so dang. glad a freestanding ER was close by. With the kind Man, of I'm glad too, bro. When emergency glad That's too, even bro. what they said on the news that night. They said it was a bear. But I know what I saw. It wasn't a bear. It wasn't any animal I've ever seen. And the fact that there's a military research base not far from our school is just too much of a coincidence. But those of us who were in that classroom that day are smart enough to keep our mouths shut. But we know the truth will always know the truth. Story two, dead all day. Yeah, bro, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the end of that, bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Joe kinda missed, bro. I thought I was about to be scared, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I had, I had my mindset I was gonna be scared. Had my mindset that, I don't know. I just had my mindset this was gonna be something crazy. And you know what I'm saying? It was just gonna have me feeling weird. But I'm not, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know, maybe, you know, maybe it was scary. And I'm just him, and I just don't get scared. But I don't know. I don't think that's the case, but it might be the case. You know what I mean? You never know. But, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna uh, end it right there. Uh, 
next time uh I, i'll probably do another one of these scary story reactions but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get a scarier story next time you know what i'm saying uh i don't know y'all send me some if y'all want uh but i'm gonna try to find one myself too but yeah man you know what i'm saying this was your boy yt bounty like i said hope y'all smiling hope y'all happy you know what i'm saying yeah i'm about to only head to head out bro you know what i'm saying uh y'all have a great day great night if it's nighttime and I'm gone, man. Like, comment, subscribe.